Vattam Krabok, literally Temple with a Bamboo Cave, is a Buddhist temple in the Praputabat district of Saraburi province in Thailand. It is located on the route 1 northbound from Saraburi to Lopuri, around 25 km, half an hour drive from Saraburi center. The temple was first established as a monastery in 1957 by the Buddhist nun Miyan Panchand, generally known as Luang Poryai, and her two nephews, who had both ordained as monks at Wat Klong Mao in Lopuri province. In the year 1970, Luang Poryai passed away. Uniquely, the abbot and monks continues to follow the teachings of Luang Poryai, a woman. Wat Tam Krabok was not officially a Buddhist temple, it was first granted official Wat status in 2012. In the temple there are about 100 monks, pra, with dark brown robe and 15 nuns, me shi. The entrance now correctly claims it is a temple or what. The temple is majestic in its appearance with two elements supporting a globe marking its entrance. There are many large Buddha statues on the temple grounds. The two large standing Buddha statues is gigantic in dimensions and facing east. They are the entrance to a circle of 25 sitting Buddha statues. In the center are four sitting Buddhas and four standing Buddhas with three high columns in the middle. The monks and the nuns have built all the buildings, streets and monuments within the temple themselves. They eat their only meal of the day at 7 a.m. There is a chanting, a melodic recitation of sacred texts every day at 6.30 p.m. One of the main activities in the temple is a world-famous drug rehabilitation. Shamroon Panchan, a former Thai policeman, was the first abbot. He became aware of drug traffic as a policeman. After the end of World War II, disillusioned with a task assigned to him, he resigned to become a Buddhist monk, shaving his head, donning the saffron robe, and begging and foraging for his sustenance. Pra Shamroon worked with his aunt Mian and set up Wat Tam Krabok, or Temple of the Bamboo Cave. He began perfecting the treatment for drug addiction at the monastery. The Riyam program also involves daily group vomiting sessions. Wat Tam Krabok has received global attention for its heroin and opium drug rehabilitation program. Over 100,000 heroin and opium addicts have since gone through the Wat Tam Krabok's detox program, a program consisting of Buddhist meditation, induced vomiting and consumption of a secret detoxification potion composed of many different herbs. A number of Western drug users have sought treatment for their addictions at Wat Tam Krabok. In 2002, Stuart Brindley became the first methadone addict from the UK to be treated at the monastery. Other Westerners include British punk rock musician Pete Doherty, Irish rock music singer Krista Dignam of Aslan, American computer underground personality Patrick K. Krupa, and British singer and songwriter Tim Arnold. In 2004, Tim Arnold's success story was the subject of many news articles in the UK. After completing his program, Arnold subsequently became a permanent Tamkrabok resident and favorite of the monastery's abbot. They even built a recording studio for him on the temple ground. Quite large dimensions, the Buddha statues here.
because opium used to be commonly grown and at times consumed by the monk largely for medical purposes in the highland of thailand and laos some monk refugees have undergone addiction treatment at Wat Tam Krabok. Wat Tam Krabok also supports the detoxification of those addicted to alcohol and methamphetamines.
Following the end of the Vietnam War in the late 1970s, Vattam Krabak hosted Hmong refugees in a camp on its grounds as a result of their participation in the secret war. Most had fled Laos, alleging that they were persecuted by the communist government that ruled Laos since 1975. In the 1960s and 1970s, the United States Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, recruited the Hmong to fight against communism, specifically against the North Vietnamese. Many thousands of the Laotian and Hmong refugees and asylum seekers at Wat Tam Krabok had also sought refuge at the temple after fleeing forced repatriation efforts at other refugee camps in Thailand. They did not want to return to the Marxist government in Laos. More Lao and Hmong refugees continued to arrive and seek sanctuary at Wat Tam Krabok until over 15,000 Hmong were eventually allowed after a long policy battle in both the United States and Thailand to immigrate to the US in 2004 and 2005 as political refugees instead of being forced back to Laos. Some moved to the United States as early as in 2001. However, it also has been suspected as a conduit for international heroin and opium trafficking. This led to a decision by the Thai government in April 2003 to ring the temple with concertina wire and to establish strict controls on entering and leaving the temple. Cocaine, 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 cocaine.